It's seven and a half minutes past ten. Time for the Sears Radio Theater. That's the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight, a story of the West with Lorne Green as your host. Here's a preview. What's the matter? Uh, the stuff on my plate looks like what I was catching. Just grasshoppers? Grasshoppers. Ugh. Now that's a silly attitude. Eat them, they're good for you. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. This is Safety Vision, a quick and easy method for observing potential hazards in your home. Let's start by activating your safety scan. Carefully focus on your appliance cords and plugs. Check to see if they're damaged in any way. And if so, discontinue using the appliance. Next, you should focus on water. Check so that none of your plugged-in electrical appliances can be accidentally immersed in water or any other liquid. And avoid handling an electrical appliance with wet hands or when you are standing on a wet or damp floor. And finally, your safety scan should include checking for the UL label on all electrical appliances. That label indicates that the product design has been evaluated by safety engineers and complies with a nationally recognized safety standard. A public service message on behalf of Underwriters Laboratories and this station. Don't say, now I've heard everything, until you hear the strange but true stories from the realm of the unexplained. Each weekday at 12.15, 5.45 and 8.45 p.m. on WNEW, as well as on the Milkman's Matinee. This is Bob Jones. Join me for the unexplained. Monday through Friday. This is Lorne Green. It's 1880. A pretty woman checks the address of a building in Laredo, Texas. Satisfied it contains the offices of the Texas Rangers, she takes an envelope from her purse and goes inside. She asks to see the captain, Macy Rosemont. Her manner and good looks get her an immediate audience. This letter will explain everything to you. Oh, uh, this is from the governor's office, miss. Yes, it is, Captain Rosemont. You, uh, collect insects? I do. You're going to eat them? I'm an entomologist, Captain Rosemont. Why, Miss Hastings? One has to know the edibility and the nutritional value of insects. How come you became a... Uh, what you said there. <laughs> an entomologist? Oh, I developed an interest in the science of entomology after enduring the grasshopper plagues of Nebraska when I was a child. Hmm. Never met a person who ate bugs before. Especially a pretty woman like you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain. Now, can you assign one of your rangers to escort me to Salado Creek? Well, sure, but um, well, I, I hope the governor knows what he's doing. Uh, Gehring, come over here. Uh, Chet Gehring will take you. You called me, Captain? Meet Miss uh, Prudence Hastings here. Well, how you do, ma'am? How Glad to know you. Uh, um, you oh, what's that word, Miss Hastings? Entomologist, Captain Yeah, 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 that's it. Anyway, uh, here to escort her to Salado Creek. Well, the pleasure is all mine, Miss Hastings. I'd like to get started at once, Mr. Gehring. She was a pretty little thing. And Chet Gehring meant it when he said, The pleasure's all mine, Miss Hastings. What he didn't know was he'd misused the word pleasure. And that's just the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater, a new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week, brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, The Female of the Species, by Ted Sherdeman. Our stars, Anne Burr, Sam Edwards, and Vic Perrin. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where value is your byword. Sears, where America shops for value. Our family is growing pretty big these days. We've got family members in nine different states, and Sears sure comes in handy. 
We can select gifts at the Sears near us, then bring them along on visits to our daughter in Seattle and my brother in Miami. And if what we bought isn't just right for them, they go to the Sears near them and exchange it. That's Sears. In their stores or through the catalog, Sears is where America shops. Sears, 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 where America shops. budget shop. Why? Because we have solid pull-on pants in tiny, typical, and tall sizes that fit you to a T. Team up the pants with a terrific coordinating top. Short sleeve with yoke front, the top comes in tempting spring solids and prints. These tops and pants are terrific, easy care polyester knits. So try them soon. They're great at coffee time or afternoon tea. In the budget shop at most larger Sears retail stores. Prudence Hastings gathered her gear at a local hotel. Then, with Texas Ranger Chet Gehring guiding her, headed on horseback for the rugged country northwest of Laredo. Prudence led a pack horse, was a good rider, and Chet admired being her escort. We ought to make camp soon, Miss Hastings. Whenever you say, Mr. Gehring. Uh, maybe up ahead. How far is it to Salado Creek, Mr. Gehring? Well, it's about two days riding, ma'am. To the headwaters? Because that's where I want to go. Uh, I ain't never been there, but well, maybe two and a half days at least, Miss Hastings. <laughs> Since we're going to be together for a while, uh, it makes me feel sort of funny being called Miss Hastings or ma'am all the time. Like we were in a sitting room or parlor someplace. Well, uh, what should I call you, ma'am? Well, you can call me Prudence. A Prue, if you like. Fine, ma'am. I mean, Prue. <laughs> and you can call me Chet. Be glad to. Chet? That's better than Mr. Gehring, isn't it? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, I mean, Prue. Your real name, Chester? <laughs> well, yeah, but only my mother calls me that when she's mad about something. <laughs> now, this is a good place to camp. Whatever you think, Chet. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, how much, how much time have we got before it gets dark? Oh, about an hour or so. Oh, this looks like a good place. I'll get the nets. The what? Nets. They're on the pack horse. Oh, here, I'll, I'll do that for you, <laughs> Prue. You don't know what I'm looking for. Now, oh, here they are. Oh, uh, what are those? One for you and one for me. They're butterfly nets. Butterfly nets? You know how to use it? I never even seen one of these things before. Well, they're simple to use. Now, here's what I want you to do, Chet. That's a that's a likely place for you to begin. Begin what? Well, you're to sneak up on them and capture as many as possible. Like this, see? After you get one in the net, you swing it around on the stick so the net is closed. Oh, I almost forgot. Well, what are you after in that pack now? Specimen jars. Here they are. One for you and one for me. After you close the net, you uncap this jar, work it into the net, and pop the catch in it. You see, Chet? Yeah, I see. But what am I after? Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers? As many as possible. Now, you go that way, and I'll go this way. And I'll see you in a little while. What the hell am I doing? This is a job for a Texas Ranger? This telegram just came for you, Macy. Wonder how Chet's making out with Prudence Hastings. I uh, <laughs> never told him what she was after. What is she after? <laughs> Grasshoppers. Grasshoppers? <laughs> uh, she eats them. <laughs> and you didn't tell Chet? <laughs> no. You know, some things a man's got to find out for himself. He eats bugs. You sure slow down any romantic interest. <laughs> yeah, that's what I figured. You want to read that wire? Huh? That's probably it. Blessed Mother What's of... What's the news, Macy? 
Cody Bancroft and Davy Gross have escaped. What? While they was being moved from one prison to another. You and Chet was in on their capture, wasn't you? We sure was. They stabbed the guard and the driver. Happened near Hebronville. We got to get on this right away. Bancroft and Gross. Did they ever find the gold those bums stole from the army? Nope. Figure it's buried someplace. Meet, you hightail it to the prison and take up the hunt for them, too. I'll ride tonight. And, and keep in touch. I'll send more men as soon as I can. Right, Captain. Don't see nobody tailing us, Davy. I don't hear nobody, Nate. We need horses. Yeah, and guns, Cody. And we need food, too. And that hundred thousand dollars worth of gold we buried. Oh, for that. You suppose it's still where we buried it? I don't reckon nobody's found it yet, or we'd heard about it, Davy. Yeah, yeah, we would. <laughs> hey, Cody, that's going to go a long way in Mexico. <laughs> yep. Yeah. We got to get some different clothes. Yeah. These here striped prison suits we got on, they're going to be recognized any place. Yeah, we got to shake them. <laughs> where are we going to get new duds? I don't seen or hear anything, do you? No. Yeah, we'll go up that hill yonder. Come on, Davy. <laughs> they can do it for $19.99. Installed? The Illumini Sears muzzler is only $19.99 installed. And listen to the muzzler promise. Sears promises that the muzzler will last as long as you own your American-made car. Or return it for refund or replacement free. And if Sears installed it, they'll install the new one. Free. Well, you can't beat that. I think it's fantastic. It's a great promise. The muzzler, just $19.99 installed. Clamps if needed, 99 cents each extra. Sizes to fit most American-made cars. Prices may vary in Alaska and Hawaii at most Sears Tire and Auto Centers. Put together a whole wardrobe with the classic collection separates at Sears. Now you can buy the pants to a suit, the vest to a suit, and the jacket to a suit separately. So every well-tailored piece of the outfit you buy is geared to your size and build. You can create a more casual look with solid color blazers and patterned slacks, or patterned sport coats and solid color slacks. The colors coordinate to let you mix and match. Now that's style, sense, and satisfaction. The classic collection at most larger Sears retail stores. They wear them in Alaska, in Texas, in Maine. Wherever the territory's tough, the kids wear Sears tough schemes. The toughest jeans in Sears tough jeans territory. Fashioned from a permapressed tri-blend fabric so tough, kids can actually jump on trampolines made from it. Sears tough skins in boys and girls sizes. Now in latest spring colors, styles, patterns. Brushed finish, too. You have tough kids, Sears has tough skins. Only in the children's store at most larger Sears retail stores and through the catalog. Dun, 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 dun. There. They should be done by now. There you are, Chet. And the rest for me. What's the matter? Well, the stuff on my plate looks like what I was catching. It is. Grasshoppers? Grasshoppers. Ugh. Now that's Ugh. a silly attitude. Eat them, they're good for you. The wings, wings and legs aren't edible, so spit them out. See, these, these are all acrididae, or short-horned grasshoppers. As you can see, they have short, kind of stout antennae, three-jointed tarsi, and a short, four-valved oviposter. Well, eat them while they're hot. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I don't eat bugs. Didn't Captain Rosemont tell you? He told me to take you to Salado Creek. Oh, won't you try one? I don't eat bugs, ma'am. If you'd ever lived through a plague of grasshoppers, you'd understand my interest. Why I became an entomologist. Yeah, uh, excuse me. Where are you going? To my horse to get something out of my saddlebags. Yeah, here they are. A can of good old pork and beans. Can't sleep on an empty stomach. Your stomach is empty because you're stubborn. Pork and beans. Really, Mr. Garrett. Well, maybe you can live on locusts, but I can't. These are not locusts. 
That term is often used to grasshoppers, but locusts properly belong to one family in the order of Orthoptera. Hmm. Locusts, grasshoppers, katydids, cicadas. I'm having none of them for supper, now or any other time. I can hardly wait to get to the headwaters of Salada Creek. There will be lots of grasshoppers there. How do you know? I made a map of the area. You're not eating those on your plate? No, indeedy, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, well, then, do you mind? Well, help yourself. They're so delicious. Really good. Ugh. I can't watch. <laughs> Hey, there's a house down there. Mm, more important, a corral with a couple of horses in it. Yeah, it must be a side buster. I got my knife. You got yours? Sure. What do we do? That side buster's in for a little raid. Hey, there's a woman. Get down, Katie. She's at the well pump drawing some water. That's all she's doing. And there's a man at the door. They went inside the house. There's a lantern being lit. I see it. They're just sitting down to supper. You see through the window there? I see. There's just the two of them. We're going in now. Come on. Good grub, Martha. I'll get the man, you get the woman, Davy. The convict. What's the meaning of this? All right, Davy, enough, enough. She's dead already. I just wanted to make sure. She must have been his wife. She got a gold wedding band on her finger. Well, take it. I can't get it off on her. Well, use your knife. Oh, yeah, okay. What what, what are you doing, Cody? Getting these clothes off him before he bleeds all over him. All right, look around. See if they got any weapons. There's a rifle. Good. 30-30. Yeah. There's a pistol in a holster. Yeah. Looks like the pistol ain't never been used. Well, fire it. See if it works. Now, what'd you do that for? Well, Cody, you said to fire it. Well, the shot buster's already dead. I just wanted to make sure. His overalls fit me real good. Yeah, well, I hope he had extras. Yeah. Yeah, here they are. There's plenty of ammo, too. Uh, it's real fine. It... His woman sure put up a lot of dried corn. It... Here's a slab of bacon. I'll put it in this bag here. Hey, how, how do I... How do I look, Cody? <laughs> <laughs> you can pass as a sod buster any time. Sure don't look a bit like you just sent this female to her maker. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a sod buster, too. <laughs> you damn near shot me when you fired that pistol, Davey. Well, I didn't mean to, Cody. I was just making sure that guy was dead. Well, I told you he was. I don't miss with a knife. I know, Cody. You want me to saddle up them horses now? Yeah. As soon as you help me spread this kerosene around. Well, what are you going to do? We don't want to leave no tracks. We're going to burn the place down. That's a good idea. You think of everything, well, Cody. Somebody's got to. Now, there's another can of kerosene by the stove. There. That ought to do it. Davy, you take the grub outside and saddle them horses while I light the fire. Whatever you say, Cody. Hey, um... Uh... You want the rifle or, or the pistol? I'll take the pistol. Okay, here you are. Now, get out of here. Let's see. Got everything? Yep. Yes, so. Now to get out of here. Davy, it's going. I don't get those uh, horses saddled. Now, well, we got everything we need now, Davy. Clothes, guns, food, and horses. We got it all. Except not gold, Cody. Well, let's go get it. Sears Radio Theater will return after this message from your local station. Hey, buddy, can you give a fella a break? Sorry, fella, I only give at the office. I'm not looking for a handout. What can I do for you? Help save my life and breath. Do you need mouth-to-mouth breathing? 
I'm not the type. No, but you're smoking. And your smoke is hitting me where I breathe. And what with an allergy and pollution, you're not helping any. Sorry, I didn't mean to bother you. Sure, but the fact is that your smoke is getting in my eyes, and nose, and throat. And that's not a good song for my lungs. Well, you could always move away. I do, and then there's another one puffing away in my face. How about a deal? Like the Lung Association says, smoke if you must, but make smoking a private affair. Or, or quit. Secondhand smoke is truly offensive for non-smokers. Well, I'll give it a try. I wish you would, otherwise... Otherwise, they're going to hang a tag on you. A tag? Yeah. Cigarettes are a health hazard, and so are you. Gotcha, buddy. Now, about that handout... Save it. Let me give you one. Your lung association says that giving up smoking is a matter of life and breath. Chills run up and down your spine. There's a creeping sensation at the back of your neck. You're listening to CBS Radio Mystery Theater. I'm E.G. Marshall, your host for these hour-long dramas of suspense, adventure, and the macabre. Heard seven times a week on most of these stations. Here's a sample of what we mean. Quiet, man. Listen, and you'll hear it. I don't hear anything. It came from the bow, a keening and the sobbing of a little child. And then it changed as I went forward to look. I swear it came aboard and, and went down. Down below. I was afraid, but I followed it. Oh, Doctor, I tell you, it went right into the captain's cabin. Listen here for CBS Radio Mystery Theater seven times a week on most of these CBS Radio Network stations. Prudence Hastings, escorted by Texas Ranger Chet Gehring, is on her way to Salado Creek to hunt grasshoppers. Meanwhile, Cody Bancroft and Davy Gross have escaped from prison, then raided and murdered a poor rancher and his wife and burned down their house, all for the sake of getting a change of clothing, weapons, some food, and two horses to take them wherever they buried a hundred thousand dollars worth of gold they stole several years before. So Cody Bancroft and Davy Gross have murdered two more people, huh, Meads? Yep. I come on that burned-down house and found two bodies in ashes. Was there enough left of them to claim they was murdered? The man had a bullet hole in the skull, Macy. The woman, his wife, had her ring finger missing. You know how those two were about gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I figure she was wearing a wedding band. They couldn't get the ring off, so they chopped off her finger. Ugh! How savage can you be? I'd be glad to testify that ranch couple was murdered. I want to see their killers die at the end of a rope. You got to catch them first, Macy. I got them before, and I'll get them again. Every man I've got is busy on a case, so that'll have to be you and me. You got any doubts about me, Macy? No. Oh, oh no, no, me. I, I, I was just thinking. Why would she do a thing like that? I don't understand. The governor's aide dropped in yesterday. Now, I showed him the letter. What are you talking about, Macy? That letter Miss Prudence Hastings brought me from the governor. What about it? The letter was a forgery. The aide said the governor had never heard of the woman. I even assigned one of my best rangers, Chet Gehring, to take her to Salado Creek. That's uh, where she wanted to go to hunt grasshoppers. Oh, yeah, I remember now. That lady bug me. Yeah, yeah. But why would she forge a letter? Well, I suppose nobody in their right mind would pay any attention to her. She'd come right out and said what she wanted. Maybe she figured it was the only way. Forge a letter from the governor. Yeah, maybe. Well, I got my gun belt buckled on. Come on, let's get started after Cody Bancroft and Davy Gross. Reckon when Miss Hastings gets all the bugs she needs, she'll let Chet go about his business. You leaving word for him to follow us, Macy? I intend to. Come on, let's go. This is it, Chet? It is, ma'am. The headwaters of Salado Creek. That's all there is? Just a little trickle of water coming out of the ground? What'd you expect? Well, I don't know, but something more than that. You sure this is the place? I don't see nothing further on, so this must be where the creek starts. Oh, there's a big one. I'll get the nets right away. <sighs> how long do you intend to stay here? Oh, that depends on how many we catch. How many is enough? 
<laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and find it, find enough right away. Here's a net for you. Yeah. I'm sure glad my captain isn't here to see me with this thing. I'll bet Captain Rosemont wouldn't be as stubborn about trying grasshoppers as you are. You'd lose your bet, ma'am. What happened to your calling me Prudence or Prue? Must have had something to do with your eating habits, ma'am. You go that way, Chet. I'll see you in about an hour. What you gonna do? Oh, I'm gonna look around yonder in the other direction. All right, ma'am. Now, 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 now for the map. Uh, well, let's see. There's the big tree. And he's out of sight. Ah, uh-huh, there's the rock pile. Now, uh, about ten steps to the left. And it, it should be right about here beneath see these rocks. Here. A leather bag. Ah, uh-huh. and another beneath it. It's here. It's here. It's the gold. It's just like Cody said it would be. Look at those hoof prints, Mead. Plain as day, Macy. Those tracks are leading up to high country. Yeah, they're after that gold they hid. What are your plans, Macy? I want them to get the gold first, Mead. Then we go in after them. You plan to take them two murderers alive? If possible, Mead, if possible. We're Texas Rangers. Not killers like them. It's straight ahead up the creek there. Gold? Here we come. Yeah, I think we ought to walk in, Davy. Who's there? How come, Cody? Crew yeah. might take a shot at us if we come barreling in. Yeah. Get down from that horse. Your wife's here, Cody? Yep. Get down. She got a ranger to lead her up here. A ranger? Stop talking so loud. Don't look so worried. We can handle them. Holly, Holly. Look off there. Well, I'll be... Ain't he one of the guys what captured us to begin with? (laughs) Sure is. (laughs) What are you laughing at? At him. Don't you see what he's carrying? Yeah. Looks like a net or some kind. Prue put him to work, all right. Come on. We'll sneak up on him. Leave the horses here. Got it. Yeah, let's see. I caught about ten of them critters. Wonder how many more she... Oh, this is ridiculous. How many grasshoppers do you want, Miss Hastings? You hear me, ma'am? I ask how many do you want? Don't move, mister. What? You're dead if you make one move for your gun. Cody Bancroft. That's one of us. And Davy Gross. I thought you two was in jail. We busted out. So I see. The prison ain't been built that can hold us. Keep your hand away from that gun, Ranger. Just keep on holding that butterfly net and jar full of grasshoppers. <laughs> Let me kill him now, Cody. Not yet, Davy. Cody! I'm here, Prue. Oh, I'm so glad you're here, Cody. <laughs> Hi, Davy. Hi, Mrs. Bancroft. <laughs> Your husband sure kept it a secret, your being here. Didn't even tell me till just a minute ago. I, I found the gold. Right where you said it would be, Cody. Uh-oh. Your map was right as rain. You're... You're you're married to this outlaw. I am, Chet, and don't call him that. Uh, First things first, doll. Get his gun, Davy. Yeah, what a pleasure. Taking a sex shooter from a Texas Ranger. Shall I try it out on him, Cody? Uh, Not yet. Prue, how come you got this particular guy to bring you up here? It was pure accident, Cody. His name's Chester Garing. I know who he is was assigned to me after I gave his boss that forged letter from the governor. This is one of the two guys what took us after we buried that gold. And his boss was the other one. 
Macy Rosemont? That was his name. You ready to meet your maker, Ranger? There's a nice, very active anthill near the big tree back there. What are you suggesting, Prue? We got to get rid of him, Mrs. Bancroft. But your ways are too quick. A nice, slow death strapped down on that anthill would be a pleasant and sure way of getting rid of the man who arrested you. Well, she's got something there, Cody. <laughs> she sure has, Davy. The Texas Rangers will track you to the ends of the earth when they find my remains. Correction, Mr. Gehring, if they find any. Strap his arms, Davy. Okay. Yeah, I'll help you. Now hold his feet. I sure don't like this idea, Cody. I don't know nobody who does. You got him strapped up? Yeah. Now... Where's that <laughs> ant here? Just follow me! There. That ought to do it. Gosh. Don't he look pretty? <laughs> Spread eagle and an ant heel? <laughs> I suggest you give him back his gun. Why, Mrs. Bancroft? Uh, how come? A touch of irony. I like to think of a man at the mercy of insects and help us to use his weapon. <laughs> Put it back in his holster, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. <laughs> there you are, Ranger. Your nice 45. It's all loaded. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to hear him scream when those ants start to work on him. But a little honey on his head will hasten things along. <laughs> there, Chester. Doesn't that feel good? No. <laughs> now, now, where's the gold? Come on, I'll show you. <laughs> you know, capturing him was so much fun. I, I put near forgot what we come for. There it is. Right where you buried it. Ain't a lie. Wow. Cody, I'd, I'd have put the bags of gold on my horse, but I wasn't sure when you'd get here, or that the ranger wouldn't spot them. Here it is. Lordy, lordy. Two bags filled with the yellow stuff. One for you, Davy. The other for me and Prue. I'll never have to eat a grasshopper again. <laughs> well, I got to hear my scream. Now for Mexico? <laughs> uh, we better get these bags of gold loaded on our horses and take off, Cody. I'm for that, Davy. <laughs> Go with a skirt? Enhance new pants? Make the best of a vest? See the ladies. Tailored short sleeve shirts at Sears. Pointed collars, placket front with bottoms cut straight. That's great. Classic shirts that are easy to wear. Polyester fabric makes them easy care. Solids from white to navy blue. Lots of soft tones, too. Plenty of prints. We've got them in store. They're just the thing you've been looking for this spring. Mrs. Tailored short sleeve shirts in the women's sportswear department at most larger Sears retail stores. Now, just $49.99 at Sears. The Craftsman heavy-duty one-horsepower router with carrying case. Save $44 from regular separate prices for power tool and carrying case that adds great versatility to your workshop. With the right Craftsman accessories, you'll be able to carve intricate designs on signs, doors, make dovetail joints for drawers, cabinets, and much more. Craftsman router with case. Now only $49.99. Save $44. Sale ends March 24th. Available at most larger Sears retail stores. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. What's the best way to save on new clothes? Sew them. Start by saving $40 on a Kenmore sewing machine at Sears with a convertible free arm for narrow sleeves, cuffs, and legs, a built-in buttonholer, even six stretch stitches. This free arm Kenmore, just $199.95 and save $30 on a wood veneer sewing cabinet. Sale ends March 31st. Prices and dates may vary in Alaska and Hawaii. Available at most Sears retail stores. Kenmore. Solid as Sears. Lorne Green again, and here's the concluding act of the female of the species. The Salado Creek's getting thinner, Mead. Yeah. Their tracks lead this way, though. I must be getting near the end of it. You suppose they buried their gold up? My God! Oh, oh, oh! oh. oh. Chet, you hear me? Uh, uh, Undo those straps, Mead. Help me get those hands off of them. Uh, Come on. Uh, uh, Covered with the crayers. Uh, uh, 
Here. Now, help me carry him over here. I got it. Oh. Thank heavens we got here when we did. At least he's still alive. <laughs> Introduced her turned out to be a forgery, Chet. Everything about her was a forgery, Maisie. How come you didn't use your gun on them outlaws, Chet? I never had a chance. They had me dead to rights. It was that female who talked them into putting the weapon back in my holster after I was tied down. Her and her ironic touch. She was even the one who smeared honey on my forehead. You know where they're heading with that gold she found? Mexico, they said, Maisie. And we better get started after him right now. Uh, you're in no condition to ride, Chad. I'll say. Now listen, Macy, Mead, I got a score to settle. I'm going after that trio right now. I got a couple hours head start on it. I don't now. care. I know the country better than they do. What do you think, Mead? Well, I say we go after him, Macy. I say you're right. Let's go. <laughs> Cody sure picked nice high ground for us to camp on. I guess him and his missus. I sat down below. Three of them, they're rangers. I, I better tell Cody. Cody? 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 You look like you've seen a ghost, Davy. Don't he? Prove We're being hailed. Hailed? I've seen them. Uh, we can't camp here. Hold on, hold on. Now, who'd you see? Answer him, Davy. Rangers. Rangers, I think. I've seen three of them on horseback. Where? Off in the gulch yonder, down below us. How far are we from the Mexican border, Cody? Mm, about four or five miles to the Rio Grande. Uh, well, well, what are we going to do, Cody? Why do you think I picked this high ground? Now, you get up behind that rock up there. Uh, oh, what are you doing? Mm, what's it look like? I'm putting out this fire. Oh, I was looking forward to pork and beans. Uh, later, dearie. Right now, you and me are taking cover up yonder opposite that rock. Yes. When they ride through... We ambush them. Ambush? That's a good idea, Cody. Are you sure they're rangers? Well, one, one of them looked like the guy we left tied on that anthill. Would they see you? I don't think so. And get up behind that rock. Move! <laughs> that way to the left, and me and you ride the other way to the right. I'll uh, ride straight ahead. Now, if it is an ambush, then you two can attack from the right and the left while I take on the center. Got it? Got it, Macy. I'll go first. Get up here! Macy? Yeah, I mean? What if it ain't an ambush? Well, then we'll meet on the other side of the hill. Good luck, Macy. I'll wait till you're out of sight.
there isn't any, except what Davy's got. You wait here. I'll make a run for him. Macy? Yeah, Chet. Where are you hit? In the leg here. Huh. Oh, a bandage on it. I want to fix it. His meat all right. I think so. He got hit, but he's sitting up now. Oh! That's a tight with that bandage. There. There you be. Yeah, thanks, Chet. Uh, I got an idea how we can flush Bancroft and his wife out into the open. What about Davy Gross? Me to hit him. He's still lying behind that rock. What's your idea? Start a landslide. Uh oh. What's the matter? Bancroft just run across to Davy Gross. Yeah? Looks like Davy's dead. Good. Bancroft's coming back with a rifle and Davy's horse. Bancroft must be out of ammo himself. How's yours? One shell left. You got any? No. Well, one's all I need. You hope. You'll be all right here? I'll be all right. Start your landslide, Chet. And, and good luck. <laughs> Davy's horse, too? Well, you didn't think I was going to leave 50000 in gold in a bag on a dead man's horse, did you? Are you sure he's dead, Cody? Davy's as dead as he was going to be when we crossed the border, Prue. <laughs> well, <laughs> at least we can thank the rangers for that. Yeah, thank them for nothing. It... Hey, hey, what's these rocks doing? It's a landslide, Cody. Run for it, Prue. Get on Davy's horse with me while I get the other bag of gold. <laughs> Your friend started that landslide. Well, so long, friend. Damn. He had him right in my sights, too. Oh, well, let's get out of here. Get up! Here. Macy! Me! They got away! I'm going after them! At least they're out of ammo, too! Can't you get him to run any faster, Cody? I'm doing the best I can. There's somebody following us. <laughs> Your friend? He's closing pretty fast. Yep, yep. It's set going all right. Uh, this horse can't run no faster. With this gold. These bags that are weighing him down. No, you don't. I... I'm not cutting this gold loose. Oh, if I just had one round for this rifle. Well, at least you can throw that away. We need to lighten the load on this horse. There. Carrying two people ain't helping it none. You wouldn't do that. Cody, you need me. I don't need nothing. Goodbye, friend. <laughs> now go, horse. Go. Neck of my horse. 
providing she, she still ain't deadly. <laughs> What's that old saying? The female of the species is more deadly than the male? <laughs> you don't know how deadly. You wouldn't serve fried grasshoppers every meal. <laughs> Here, come along, Bancroft. There's a nice, friendly court waiting for you. I've been working with furniture for 25 years, so I know about quality, and that's why I recommend a Sears Benchmade sofa for your family. There's a heavy-duty hardwood frame braced to withstand stress. The coil spring construction gives long-lasting comfort, and you can choose from fabrics and attractive solids or bright prints, all treated with Scotchgard brand fabric protector. Compare the quality of a Sears Benchmade with other fine sofas, and you'll be surprised. Styling, durability, and comfort. Benchmade, a great place to relax. Now at most Sears retail stores. I'm out of control. Be cool. Be natural. Take it light. But where do I start? With the basics like the new Pretty Natural Light Shaper from Sears. The Pretty Natural Light helps keep you smooth all day under your clothes, giving you a shape that's soft and natural thanks to the shimmery, lightweight power net. Never intimidates because its control is moderate with a front panel that helps keep your tummy where you want it. Great. I'll ease into control with a Pretty Natural Light. It's new at larger Sears retail stores. Join millions of Americans and shop the easy way with a Sears credit card. All you do to apply is call toll-free 800-526-0444. It's your entry to shopping convenience and quality merchandise. Your card will be accepted at over 3,600 Sears stores across the nation. And you can choose from over 100,000 Sears products and services. Even use it for your catalog orders. In the store or over the phone, just say charge it. Call 800-526-0444. New Jersey residents call 800-652-2777 for your Sears credit card. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company, where our policy is satisfaction guaranteed or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. The Female of the Species was written by Ted Sherdeman, produced and directed by Fletcher Markle. Your host was Lorne Green. Our stars were Ann Burr, Sam Edwards, and Vic Perrin. Also heard were Tyler McVeigh, Harley Bear, and Dawes Butler. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliot Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CBI. <laughs> it was a dive like any other, except worse. I was tracking the number one killer. My name's Hart, Sam Hart. I was just walking out of the joint when I spotted his accomplices. What are you serving there, sister? A right, taco for the moose and a shake for baby face. How have you got against them? Nothing. I'm just doing my job. Sending them to their graves is more like it. You're giving them some nutrition, all right, but you're loading them with calories and animal fat and cholesterol. Bug off. What's wrong with that, anyway? A fatty diet makes it easy for the big one. Heart and blood vessel disease. Who's setting them up? Most people set themselves up for heart disease. With smoking, no exercise, and improper diet. Call your American Heart Association for more information. We're fighting for your life. This is Lucille Ball, here to make a personal appeal to every American. Since the 1880s, the American Red Cross has been stepping in when there's been big trouble. Like a hurricane. But nobody has to tell you the Red Cross is there when a hurricane strikes. So let's talk about the other Red Cross, your neighborhood Red Cross. They teach kids to swim. That's good, Eddie. And they train about every lifeguard on every beach. It's possible to look into it. We can get in touch with the local chapter. They help veterans get on their feet. They help people relocate after fires. Are you comfortable? Okay, now relax. They collect and distribute blood. They give a hand to the older folks in your town and do scores of other jobs. It's easy to see why we've got to have Red Cross, and only you can keep Red Cross ready for the little emergencies in your neighborhood. And the big ones. 
Help keep Red Cross ready. Tomorrow's Sears Radio Theater will be a comedy with Andy Griffith as your host. Let's listen. I'm the only one around. You got a problem? Well, yeah. You see, uh, Sergeant... I have. I need a physical examination. So he can get in the Army. So he can get in the Army? That's right. He's got to have his physical today, Sergeant. Which is why I was sent here. You know, this ought to be in a comic book. So be sure and tune in tomorrow to the Sears Radio Theater.